Okay, vlog, what is it, 33 or something? Uh, looking great. Um, I worked on it about once a week since the last video. I think I worked on it like four times, I don't know. Um, but it's just real slow progress. Um, but I did finish the roof above the garage. And that means that all the framing is completely done, except for this piece. This gable plus the, one, the big one behind it. Um, I'm going to wait to do that um, after I get the sheathing on. Um, because now it would be easier to do this gable here and then and then sheath everything like I did with that one. But because there's one behind it and you'll see how it is. It's just going to be easier to do afterwards. Um, so the next step is to put on these pieces, these horizontal ones that glue to it. And that provides, see they just they just glue on there like that. That makes a gluing surface to glue the decking to. Like that. That's what the final decking will look like. And it will be glued to those pieces. It will look like that. So, um, I'll show you what I did over here. Um, in the last video, it was... I was a little bit annoyed because I had to tear it apart and rebuild it, um, but I'm really proud of the way it came out. I think it took two days to frame just like these major pieces like this, 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 just like the skeleton of it. Um, because it's, it's a lot of work to make this perfect, um, to make everything line up. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and it's all, nothing's over framed. Everything's, like it's all hollow on the inside, like that's a valley there. What I could have done to make it easier um, is framed this roof all the way, you know, with the rafters on this side going all the way down. Could have done that over to like ended it right here and then built this roof over top of it. Um, but I didn't do that. Uh, like like I did here. See how I, I framed this roof and then I I built that one over top of it. So all those rafters go all the way down. Um, it's kind of the lazy way to do it. And in real life, um, it would be a big waste of money in some cases, but it didn't really matter there. But here I actually framed it like that. So that all these rafters end right there. See that? So it's all, all hollow on the inside. And it is very strong already. Um, so basically what we got going on here is there's a gable. Um, I'll talk about the guy who designed this in a second here. Um, he contacted me. Um, the original roof on this house had a gable here and another one right in the back and it just went all the way across and it was a little bit taller and then this one kind of went up into it. Um, I got rid of the one in the back because I didn't really like that. I'd rather have a hip roof here to give this kind of corner look. Um, and then there's this weird angle coming up here because that roof is taller so that's what that is. And then it goes across and then it turns like that, turns there, comes across to here, and then uh, this there's a little roof section here, and then this this part continues over, makes a little porch, which is brand new. As you can see, you got the uh, ceiling done up in there. It's a little porch. Um, but anyway, everything's perfect. If you look down the side, look how nice and flat that is. Kind of nice and straight back that goes. Nice and flat there. Like I said, it's hollow in there. That's a sway brace there, so that'll stay. Keep it from racking this way. It's a little bit hard to tell, but that, that side's nice and flat. That's flat. This is real nice. Look how nice that looks. And even with this wall too. The wall looks nice and straight. Look at that. You're looking at how flat this looks. And uh, look how small that little rafter is. They're spaced an inch apart. Um, so moving along to the back. This is my access panel. What it's going to be is 
um, there will be a little door, a little thing that slides into there, and then you can take it off if you want to access the attic. The same as that little square on the roof, you can barely see it. That's what it'll look like, it'll be pretty much hidden. Um, so yeah, there's inside there. I think, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I moved this to make it a little bit closer to here. Um, and then the light in the attic is right here and it shines. So if you turn the attic light on, it'll shine right there and light this whole thing up. So this is nice and strong. I put a stick going down there just to add a little bit of strength. And then this one is just floating there, but it's still pretty strong. Uh, the only support I have that maybe you wouldn't do in a real house is that vertical stick going up there. I don't need it. I mean, I could take it out right now and everything would be fine. Uh, it just adds a little bit of strength to the end of that ridge board, which I don't even really need, but whatever. I just left it there. In a real house, uh, sometimes I do do that, but you would need to have either a beam below it or um, a load-bearing wall or have it go right down to the foundation or something, but that uh, that's fine. So, yeah, this is where the roof turns, and there's a little section there. All these wires that come down, I kind of missed my spot. I meant to have them all come down like, I thought this roof would be taller. I wanted them all to just come down right about here. Um, but they didn't, obviously, so what I did is I notched the studs, so the wires will go inside the studs like that, which is fine. And then when the siding goes on, it'll just go right over it. You won't even know they're there. So yeah, and I don't remember if I mentioned, but I put a window in the attic. Uh, the window will be dark, there's no lighting in there. But you'll be able to see inside the attic all the way into here. Just so you can kind of see the framework and how it's all hollow. And then this one, when you look in, you'll be able to see around the corner there. All the way over to that gable. And then over to there. So, it's looking good. Um... Oh uh, yeah, the problem I mentioned here, this is a 9, 10, or 9, 12 pitch. For every 12 units you go over, you go up 9. That could be 12 and 9 of anything. So for every 12 inches I go over, it goes up 9 inches. For every 12 feet I go over, it goes up 9 feet. For every 12 centimeters I go over, it goes up 9 centimeters. It doesn't matter what the unit of measurement is, it's just a 9 to 12 ratio. Um... That's what I wanted for everything. That's the picture of that roof. That's the picture of this roof. That's the picture of this roof. Pretty much everything else. Um, but <clears throat> the problem was here, this wall was... The span of these raft, these two rafters was a little bit... Um, was it wider or narrower? I think it was a little bit narrower than the span of these rafters. So that screwed up the whole pitch um, in order to keep the, the ridge at the same height. Um, I'm not going to go into explaining that again. You can watch the last video if you want to see that. But anyway, the problem was this roof was not going to be the same pitch as this roof, this little section, which would mean that these lines would not be parallel, which is true. But this is a 10-12 pitch versus a 9-12 pitch. So for every 12 inches you go over, that's just an inch difference. So it's really not a big deal at all. You can't even tell unless you're looking at it very closely. Um... So yeah, my next step is to um, put these flat pieces on top, go across the whole thing everywhere. Once I do that, when I when I do these ones, um, they're gonna overhang. Let me focus. This. They're gonna overhang inside of here a bit, and then I'll be able to build the wall on top of those for this little wall. So that's that video. Um, uh, one cool thing I want to mention. Um, if you go back to when I was planning this house, I did not design the entire thing completely by myself. Um, I found, I looked through hundreds of floor plans and tried to find the one that I really liked. Um, and I found this one, which was a little bit different. It's actually that house right there. Um, so what I did was I took that floor plan, it was just a preview of a floor plan, it wasn't full measurements or anything. Um, and I changed a bunch of things. So I changed the walls around quite a bit, added and removed windows. It had a hip roof. I made it a gable roof uh, to make it a little bit easier here. Uh, changed 
stuff here and there. Changed this roof quite a bit. Like I said, this was a gable and everything here. Um, there used to be a garage door back here. Yeah, the whole floor plan pretty much changed. Um, so I did change it up quite a bit. Um, but the guy who designed it, um, who designed the original floor plan that I got this from, um, somehow came across my videos and commented on a few, and then he contacted me. Um, and he saw that I was having trouble with the roof here, so he actually sent me the full set of plans, floor plans, elevations, roof plans, foundation plans, all that, for the actual house. Um, and he's the guy who designed it, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel in the description, um, and you should check it out. He made, he designs a lot of cool houses. Um, so it's pretty cool that he came across my videos here. Um, and yeah, so I would I would share the uh, plans with you, but uh, I can't do that because it costs a lot of money to get floor plans made or to buy existing ones. So I'm lucky enough he sent them to me, um, and I'm thankful for that. But uh, I can't go ahead and share them because they're you know private. So that's that. Also, one more thing to talk about when I want this done. Um, I've been working on this for over a year now. I wish it would be done because I really do not have the time to work on this. And a lot of times I don't feel like it. Um, but now, I mean, I'm going to be even busier over the summer than I am during the school year. But I'm going to try to work on this whenever I can, whenever I get a chance. I just want to get it done, especially now that I'm done framing it. I just want to get the roof finished, get this, the siding finished. Um, my goal is to get this done by the end of September. I have no idea if that will happen. That gives me all, all summer because um, next year is my senior year and I really don't want to have to worry about this because I'm not going to I'm not gonna just leave this unfinished. I need to finish it. Um, so it's kind of stressful. But that's my goal is to get this done by the end of September. So that's the time frame we're looking at. Um, again, subscribe, like, rate, whatever. Um, Go on to my Facebook page, which is the same name as my channel name here, if you want to see updates on this. Um, I'm about to post like 50 pictures on there, uh, more than that, of from when I was framing this roof, like all the different steps, and then a ton of really cool pictures of the finished roof from cool angles and stuff. Um, so if you want to see that, go on there, check it out. It's on Facebook. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, because that's... All I'm going to be doing is those things which will take like one or two days. So, probably in less than two weeks. So, yep. I'll see you later.